Hey, welcome you guys. Welcome in. Hopefully everyone's doing great. This is for you guys this week. We are rapidly approaching December 14th, which is the solar eclipse, full solar eclipse, new moon in Sagittarius. Very powerful energy here of manifesting. So just know that you, uh, you really have the power right now. You have the con. <laughs> All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Message for you guys. Message for you guys. Let's see where we go. If you didn't catch it today, uh, I did a live. I know, I'm like jumping ahead in my timeline here because <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Uh, with Sonia over on the Illust Illuminator. All right, so you might want to catch that. It's on her channel. Okay, and also um, you might want to catch over on Souls on Fire. I have a second uh, YouTube channel. Thank you to everybody who was like, hey, they're stealing your videos, Mary Jo. <laughs> I was like, nope, that's me. Souls on Fire is us. So I did a full reading, a December 14th reading. Okay, so you might want to catch that over there uh, for the, um, the new moon energy. That's where you can find that. All right, let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. Okay. Observer. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's the Libra energy. Truth be told. And Aquarius. Libra and Aquarius showing up right here. Round and round. This feels like... Um, you know, seeing what you need to do, doing what you need to do, speaking your truth, fifth chakra. This is blue, very fifth chakra energy to me. And in this instance, this feels like it, uh, you're uh, going up a level, okay? Even though you may feel like you're um, having this experience of, hey, I've been here before, but now you're elevated on this level, this next level, right? Up, up leveling in a game. Now you get the ruby sword. Now you get the boots. I don't know what I'm saying. but the <laughs> I don't play video games, but my best friend Callie plays video games. She's like, hey, you get the ruby sword. I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Although I used to love uh, Zelda. I used to love Zelda. Okay. That would be fun this winter. Something about video games or something like that. I don't know. Have fun. Something about joy. Letting yourself have joy. Something you used to do that brought you joy. I think there's some message in that for somebody, okay? So uh, you need to do it again. It's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's going to um, do wonders for you or something like that, I'm hearing. That's so my mom. That's so, Mary T is probably coming through today. It'll, work, it'll do wonders for you. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Mary T. My mom, Mary D. Okay. Ace of Swords, Two of Cups underneath here, Queen of Wands. Look at this victorious. All right. There's something about, um, there's a lot of message. Uh, if you Tomorrow's morning message for December 14th is a lot about speaking your authentic truth. Coming through very strongly today. All right. Five of Wands, Two of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Empress tower. Wow. Ace of cups, new beginnings, fresh start after some struggle. All right. I feel like you make a decision to stand in your power. Could be dealing with someone who is a uh, drama, a little bit of drama. Um, that comes through tower and then ace of cups here. Strength, six of cups, knight of cups. Beautiful. Um, this is about knowing your own power. Um, speaking your authentic truth. And as I've said before, and I will say it again, um, being in high frequency, being in high vibration has nothing to do with faking, faking it. I don't feel. I feel like it has more to do with being, you know, feel the real feelings that are coming through. If you feel sad, feel sad, right? There, feel the authentic feelings that are coming through to you and show up for that. Allow those things to move through you. And be, you know, like, thank you so much for allowing, I mean, every single day you have an opportunity to, you know, go through these lessons and allow yourself to um, feel the feelings and do it anyway, right? 
feel the fear, do it anyway. Feel that and be knowing your power and your strength is something that is allowing you to make some good choices, even in the face of other people's nonsense. Okay, five of wands. So you could be dealing with that. I'm going to clarify this empress here. Empress and tower. The, the cool thing here, though, is um, this kind of lesson has been blocking you from love in some way. By not showing up in love, no matter what the situation is, by not showing up that way, what's happening is you're blocking love. So by showing up and feeling the fear, do it anyway, speaking truth to power, whatever it is, it's leveling you up. All right, so please clarify the Empress for me. Nine of Swords. Knight of Swords. Judgment. One more, please, world. Yeah. Um, there's a like a boogeyman. <laughs> there's somebody in your life, or there's a there's a, a thing in your life that frightens you. This is about walking right up to it. Looking it right in the face. You don't scare me. You don't scare me. Ha ha ha. You don't scare me. Whatever you want. Don't care. Right? I'm standing in my authentic truth. This is what this is what I believe. And 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 so standing up and speaking your authentic truth from a place of love and compassion for other people. So it's not a combative thing. It's not this. All right. It's not this. Um, it's much more about choosing to be more solid and more, um, authentic, right? Ace of swords, choosing to be more authentic and just be like, you know what? Um, God bless. Just, you know what? This isn't working for me. This relationship isn't working for me. Um, so I'm just going to like move on and you know what? However they react, it's not your business. It's none of your business how they react. Do you, <clears throat> I feel like there's a fear, and this comes from childhood, okay, that if you say what you truly feel, then somehow you won't be safe or, you, or you'll be abandoned or there'll be some kind of uh, retribution or something along those lines. There's somebody in your way of new love and joyfulness and all of this kind of stuff. This is the crossroads. This is the the moment in time when you speak truth to power and just be like, you know, this has been in my way for a really long time. Truth be told. Ju uh, justice energy and just come at it from a place of, um, hey, this doesn't work for me. And you know, you're awesome. Go live your life. That's great. This is just not working for me, whether it's a job or it's a person or whatever it is. But there's somebody or a family member, even like how we've been doing, how we've been doing things sucks for me. And I really have no idea what's going on with you. And nor do I, it's not that I don't care. It's just that it's not my business. So, you know, I'm just in love with generosity, with kindness, with, you know, um, um, true compassion. Go with God, right? There's this, there's that feeling of like, there's some kind of big ending coming here. I feel like you are afraid of someone's anger. This could be a mother figure or someone's mom because Mary T showed up in the beginning, right? My mom showed up. She's passed away since 02. She shows up a lot when it's about me um, knowing my own strength and power. Okay, so whoever this is, this could be somebody who's who is um, has that kind of power, the power of the mother figure, the power of someone, you know, what is mother? Mother is someone who is supposed to be nurturing and kind and generous or whatever your fantasy is about mother. And whatever the belief system you have about mother. And this person has not been that. So they've been very selfish or they've been about you serving them. And it's like, um, you know what? I'm just not going to do that anymore. Okay. Could be about a relationship. Doesn't have to be, you know, forget about the, the gender. Okay. For a second, this can be somebody who expects you to serve them, expects you to be, you know, um, worshiping them or something like that. And it's like, you finally see them for who they are and you're like, eh, I'm not doing that anymore. Um, 
This is a, on your path. Okay, this is on your path. So tower, please clarify the tower for me. Star, three of swords, 10 of cups. Oh yeah, baby, four of cups, five of swords. I feel like this person, the, the thing is that this person isn't going to embrace your newfound authenticity, okay? This person is not gonna be like, well, welcome to the world. You finally figured it out. Look at how awesome you are. Look at your self-worth. Look at how valuable you are. This person's not going to say that. And that's, it's kind of like you're afraid that this person will abandon you. And mother is like the crux of the person who's never supposed to abandon us. So you may have that fear around a life partner, um, a best friend, uh, a boss or somebody, whoever it is, it can be a large or small relationship. It doesn't have to be like someone who's like, you know, ginormous in your life. It can be, it can repeat itself in little small ways all around your life. So you're kind of living this, this energy of, you know, I'm going to go along to get along. And that's really a dangerous thing because it stops you healing from this situation and you're going to be healing yourself. I feel like this person may abandon you. Okay, this person may show up like this, four of cups, five of swords, and try to do it again. But the fact is, you'll be free. Because you'll be like, you know, you're, un, you're detaching yourself from the game of, I don't really speak my truth, so, you'll, so you won't abandon me. The truth is, this person is going to abandon you no matter what. So, because this is about standing in your truth, what difference does it make? Well, hold on. Let me say this more powerfully. If you're standing in your truth, the outcome with this person doesn't really matter. What does matter is that you are now leveling up. Okay. You're now leveling up away from this nonsense, away from this person. And I do feel like there may be a moment of like, uh, like you didn't want that person to break your heart. You didn't want that person to behave the same way, but they did. You haven't changed at all, but I have. All right. So what's coming is to do this brings strength. This is morning message stuff. Um, you're going to want to watch the December 14th morning message. Um, bringing strength in. This could bring in love. This, could, this person has been blocking your ability to mother and nurture yourself so that you don't care. It's, it's well... Mm, I'm trying to get this. It's it's not that you don't care how other people feel. You have empathy for other people. But you also have more compassion for yourself. And you know that this relationship or this thing, this kind of um, something has been in your way your whole life. So you're settling for lousy partners. You're settling for low prosperity or not really getting your due. It all go ba goes back to self-worth and knowing your truth knowing that you deserve love, knowing that you deserve a partner who is not just take, take, taking, okay? You deserve that, all right? Or has the expectation. Um, I'm getting this very manipulative, five of swords, feeling of like, you must serve me, right? You must serve me. I'm getting that really strong feeling. So whoever this message is for, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, there's definitely somebody like that in your life who is expect, has the expectation of them being better than you. And so you just need to revere them or something like that. And by being like, maybe all along you've been like, no, nope, I'm not doing that. And that has created a, a mother child kind of thing. This is different. This is you being more like, well, I appreciate that that's what you want, but you know what? It's not really for me. So, okay. And there's no energy. There's no energy around this nonsense. Okay. There's no energy around conflict because it's like their reaction of abandonment or whatever they're going to do is no longer material to you because you're taking care of yourself. They can't really abandon you. They're abandoning the situation. Okay. Okay. So let's see where we go. I, I do see, um, uh, um, I feel like this person could be a Taurus or a Libra. Um, I do see Leo here. I feel like you are getting your fire in your belly. I feel like that fire energy is you. Um, I do see Aquarius and Libra here. You're the one telling the truth. This person could be a Taurus, actually. 
somebody who is, um, cause Taurus is about you feeling about, um, them feeling stable and solid. And this is why they're doing this. It makes them feel stable and solid to have other people serving them. Cause the truth is they're the ones who don't have like an inner core of self worth and self and value. And they're the ones who have a lack of self-esteem. So they're kind of projecting that onto you, trying to make you feel bad about yourself. Because they're the ones. And so they get a hit off of it. Like, oh, well, that's their problem. It's not my problem. Right? So they're not, they're not doing their own work. They're projecting it onto you. Wow. Okay? Um, but this is a very healing thing for you to do. Very healing. All right, my darlings. So let's see where we go. I'm going to look at Taurus in the extended. I will definitely look at Taurus. And I'm going to see about this. This feels like um, some love coming in. Once you've unblocked this and made yourself back into your power, this, this beautiful energy um, now shows up of love and Ace of Cups, something brand new coming in because you love yourself now. Good for you. All right, guys. All right. Uh, if you want to continue on with me, the rest of this reading, the link is below. Um, otherwise, have a wonderful day. Mwah.